Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto Steen, and welcome to another day in Minecraft. Today, we're gonna at least start on an improved raid farm, as well as a widow fight for an additional beacon. The farm we built just a few episodes back has the flaw that after the last raid, it stops, as I have the Hero of the Village effect and I am in the proximity of the village that triggered the raid, therefore stopping the next. With the clever design by Raceworks, the farming area is separated from the village, the player is moved to the village to trigger a new raid and the village center is moved as well to facilitate this all. This requires some precise timing, so I keep my fingers crossed. Ray's video with the world download is linked below in case you want to check it out for yourself. While the ice farm we did last time was large, the working is not very complex. With this build I want to take it step by step, which means we might not finish it in one go. As you saw in the short preview, there are four layers where stuff is happening and I will tackle them one layer at a time, explaining what's going on. The lowest layer here is uh, the easiest one as it contains a double beacon and the lower part of the uh, uh, village there was a village that I have to place in there and then there is also the system to send the player back down uh, it will drop here triggering this uh, timer and then pushed over uh, on here where we will have a bubble column and then connecting is uh, glass on two side uh, wall over here and fence on this side to uh, contain the the water and there you see the time ago that's how it works so Next up, we'll organizing beacon and villager. Villager, I will do uh, off camera and uh, we will have a weather fight next. Hopefully, without too much carnage. Now, kids at home, don't use drugs like I do here. Um, I have night vision because I'm getting old and uh, my eyesight is not so good anymore. Then um, we have some speed, speed 2, to fight the whistle. Then of course strengths. Then we have the regen. Um, instant health and here another region and then we will see how this fight goes so first we will have the explosion and then This went terribly wrong. As he is upstairs.
We're still going strong here. But we are withered. And I think now we are in the second phase. Where is he? Can't see him. It's not good if you're fighting someone and you have no idea where it is. Right. I do have a totem of undying in the offhand, so that should help. Maybe chuck in a golden apple here. And then let's. Let's try this. Let's power this through. There goes the totem. Reach and potion. Instant health. That was. Now. That's more like it. Right. We have. Ooh, we even got an. Armored with a hat along with the nether store. So I have prepared uh, more with the hats, but seeing that the uh, potion effect is uh, waning there, I think um, I have to see if I have um, more potions on the side that I can access. And then we can try again. So I restocked on patience. So let's get those out of the way. Strengths. Then speed. And then we have uh, regeneration and instant health on the uh, hotbar and then we can go another round I also found a second totem of undying so that should help and hopefully this round goes better yeah that is how it is supposed to go. Now we have to turn the corner here. At least I'm not yet withered. I don't have there. Let's 
So let's use the instant health here. Then use our housework short to finish it off. Yeah, we used the totem again, but we got a second nether star out of it. And this second round was faster. So, I guess having a totem of undying does help. So, um, it's good we build a raid farm to get even more. So, we can safely farm beacons afterwards. But enough of weather fight for now. Um, let's head back and then I will sort the uh, villager situations out. We will need quite a few for that build so I was thinking uh, maybe uh, uh, bringing uh, two villages over uh, to the build site and then we can actually have a village breeder there. Um, which should supply us with uh, with the villages that we actually need there. But I, as I said, will do that off camera because it's not terribly uh, exciting. So, see you once I've got some villages. Please excuse all this dirty mess, but after all, villages are most easily moved around with water streams and that's what this is all about. And this second layer here is a bit more complicated than the one down there somewhere. Um, and it gets more complicated further up. So. Behind this glass wall in front of the banners, the player will drop down, uh, touching this pressure plate, which then uh, starts this hopper clock, um, and eventually depowering this piston here. And then if we have a look around, uh, this goes around here, powering uh, this piston and eventually the one at the top moving the compost up um, and in effect um, making this villager no longer reach its uh, workstation and uh, thereby this part of the village together with the one down below this top most done is uh, invalidated and that means the uh, center of the village moves down. So this time around I already have the villages in there and the next step is going up further up uh, and then we will have the uh, actual uh, killing platform. Uh, which also involves a bit of redstone. Here at the top of uh, our current build, a third layer up, quite way up if you're looking down, I will say goodbye for now and then we will dive into the more complicated part with a fresh mind at the start of next episode. So, until then, see you!